Okay, uh, sometime we gonna have the error when, when we just wake up the virtual machine. Okay, for example, you shut down and then when you start it, they're gonna have internal server error. Okay, so don't worry, this uh, video gonna show you that. How can you overcome this one? It's very easy, you just know the keyword in Google. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, today we're gonna continue uh, the topic in EIP next series, okay? So when we want to uh, run the machine, because in last clip in the number 5, we, we turned it off already, so I start turning it on, okay? When you turn okay, the machine on, they're gonna start the Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, so what you need to do is you just wait a little bit, okay? In, in the console, I mean the, the, the virtual machine, they're gonna just start Okay, and then keep running. Even though sometimes you you wait and 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 then they are gonna have the prompt. Okay, so you see they they have the prompt already in the screen. Even though you have the prompt in the screen, but it doesn't mean that you you can run. You still need to wait a little bit. Okay, so here we are. So I just go to the local host and then I try to run. You know. Okay, if you see, sorry, we will be back soon. This one is is normal. Yeah, so you wait for a few minutes. Yeah, and then you, you can run it again. Okay, so this is what, what uh, we, we, we support to do. Yeah. Okay, so while we are in here, uh, you, you can check the, the console. Yeah, they, they're gonna say that uh, you can access the uh, ERP next and then they have the username and password. Yeah, last, last time we used this one to shut down the machine. Okay. Okay, so this is the normal problem. Some sometimes when you turn off the virtual machine, you turn on, they're gonna have internal server or error occur. If you have this one, don't panic. This one is very very normal. What you need to do is you go to Google, and then you just uh, search uh, the keyword ERP next uh, internal server error. Uh, and then they're gonna come and you go to the thread that is the discussion forum. Uh, when when you go to the thread, uh, you can go down until you see you see the GitHub uh, here. This one is the GitHub. So once we have this this one, uh, this is the, the GitHub uh, the 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 error in here. You come down and then you're gonna see the post by Mr. Kenyon Geek uh, in the uh, October 29 on year 2018. So you just follow this uh, this one, this 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 rec uh, recommendation, and then you can do. So I'm gonna do it too. So I just uh, log in as the subpage, and then here, and then I type sudo nano. Nano is just like text editor. Some of you may may never use the the Linux before, but don't worry. You you didn't need to be the the uh, Linux expert to do this one, you just follow my account Okay, so in the nano, you press enter key and then you jump in. Right? Okay, so when you jump in, you just keep uh, browsing until you find the limit no file. Okay, okay here, okay, limit no file. Here, we see it already. So I just comment the limit no file and then I put my limit no file equal to 40,000, okay, something like this, and that's it. You can go out, uh, control X, and then yes, save in the same in the same file name, and then you enter two command. Uh, so later on, uh, when, we, when we, maybe when we uh, use the uh, EIP next, uh, you may need to stop and start for so many times. So next time you just issue this command, you didn't need to go back to the uh, nano anymore. Now you just do it only one time. Okay, so I issue this command. Now, so make sure that is collect sudo my sqld. Okay, that dash tc dash heuristic. Okay, recover equal sign load back. Okay, so I just just run this command. Okay, and then another command sudo serve with my sql start. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. After they, they run like this one, you go back and then you uh, refresh the page. 
นะครับ and then after you refresh they gonna come back okay so this one I told you if you have internal server error don't panic and then you just leave it here you know I mean and then you can continue your ERP 